Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. Today I want to talk about a very special saint. He's special in our archdiocese. That would be Saint Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn. Born in Beirut, Lebanon in 1860, he was devout in the church and he was devoted to his studies. His family wasn't wealthy. His parents had fled the persecution of Christians in Damascus, Syria that same persecution that led to the martyrdom of St. Joseph of Damascus. That'll be another story. But he grew up in the church, and his zeal for the faith and his commitment to his studies caught the eye of some of the officials in the church. They wanted to do what they could to support St. Raphael in his education and in his formation. So they saw to it that he basically got scholarships to study. And ultimately he ended up in Kiev studying theology. In 1895, when he was 35 years old, the Russian Orthodox Synod decided to send him to America to be a shepherd to the Arab flock of Christians in America. Now at that time, there were about 10,000 Arab Orthodox Christians in and around New York City and about 150,000 uh, throughout the United States. And they needed a shepherd who understood their language, a shepherd who could uniquely minister to the flock of Arab Christians on American soil. And so St. Raphael was just the perfect man for that job. One year after his arrival in New York City, he went on a summer tour that took him from New York to San Francisco, stopping at 30 cities in between, meeting people where they were. Whether they had churches or not, whether they had buildings, he would go and serve liturgy in houses. He would go out to them in their farms. He just wanted to reach out and minister to those who were part of this scattered flock of Arab Orthodox Christians in North America. He did this for years, for actually uh, nine years, and during that time he established five Orthodox churches, including the St. Nicholas Cathedral in Brooklyn, New York. But in 1904 he was consecrated the first bishop on North American soil. He was consecrated by St. Tikhon of Moscow and Bishop Innocent. He then began a 10-year mission of establishing and connecting with Orthodox churches throughout the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. In 1905, he realized that, of course, there were just too many people to get to all the time. It was just an impossible number. So he established the Word magazine in order to reach out to people wherever they were. He knew that he could preach to them and teach to them through the magazine even when he couldn't reach their city in a given year. He spent his time getting to know his people and one of the things he learned was that they were beginning to lose the youth. Does that sound familiar? They were beginning to lose the youth because parents wanted their children to be educated as Christians. But their children now were speaking English. And so the children were often going to Sunday school at non-Orthodox churches so that they could learn about the scriptures. Well, when St. Raphael realized this, he decided that his churches throughout America should all use an English service book. So that is what he did. He uh, established that as the norm. Didn't mean that there couldn't be any Arabic chant or things like that in the church anymore. It just meant that he recognized the church needed to move toward the use of the English language in order to keep the people that we have and to grow the church further. In the last 10 years of his life as Bishop of Brooklyn, St. Raphael established 25 churches. St. Nicholas Church in Montreal, Canada, 
as I said, St. Nicholas Cathedral in Brooklyn. He established a church in Mexico City, Mexico. He had churches from Texas to Nebraska, from Boston to Indiana, throughout the Midwest, throughout the Northeast. He was a real laborer in the flock of Christ in America. And so we call upon St. Raphael, the Bishop of Brooklyn, to pray for us. We call upon him to help us through our own tumultuous times, to work to keep our youth in the church, to keep them educated, to learn to speak their language and to communicate the gospel in a way that they understand. And we call upon him to pray for us that we may continue to grow this flock of Christ on American soil to the glory of God. Holy Saint Raphael, pray unto God for us that we may ever draw closer to Christ in our lives and be a beacon of light to those around us. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.